What's going on everybody? Um, I'm here at the house today because today is grass cutting day and if you guys can see my house pretty much looks like a jungle. Uh, let me turn you around. Yeah, it's uh, pretty bad. But we've got a lot more here in the weed eater here so we're going to go to town on this. Um, basically I have to get all of my chores done today because tomorrow we are spending a bunch of time on the car to get it right for Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and I will see you guys in a little bit. So the grass is finished. Um, the lawnmower took a crap on me. It basically threw the belt. I mean it didn't really break. It just kind of threw the belt because I did have a lot of grass to cut. So uh, yeah, uh, grass is done. It looks a lot better now. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that but uh, yeah, basically I got it done. That's yard work done. Now I actually have to go get a, another gear for my car, so we're about to go do that right now. Okay, so we are at the shop now. Uh, we just got the car put up on jack stands. There you go. So we're about to get to work. Joey is here with me. Um, so we're going to get this thing knocked out. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. we got a couple things we got to do, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have got the uh, old gear out of the car. It's sitting currently on the uh, table over here. We've got the new one, which is right there. So uh, we're getting ready to put that in now. We're just taking a little break. Uh, we're going to clean off the rear axle and uh, get the surface ready for the new uh, third member. Okay, so we're actually about ready to go to lunch now. It's 1 o'clock, and we've got the gear in. Uh, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that, but it's that uh, center chunk right about there. So... Uh, that's in uh, hopefully this will work for this weekend uh, like i said we're going to go take a lunch break real quick and then uh we've got to fix this body panel which is uh broke again and uh, we're also going to do some trimming on here and we're going to roll this edge out because it actually cut up a tire pretty good so that's the game plan so we're going to go eat lunch and uh we'll be back in a few just want to take a second to show you guys uh, what happened with our body. Um, we got a lot of roll in the car and it pretty much got the tire pretty good. You can see it's pretty much destroyed on this side. So we're getting ready to put a new tire on. Uh, Joey is actually putting the door back on because it also came off from hitting the ground as well. So as you can see behind me, Joey is getting the car put on the ground. Um, we finished up everything we needed to. The door is fixed. Um, we still need to work on the uh, right rear uh, sheet metal. Need to roll that up, get it off the tire. But pretty much everything's going good so far. Haven't really run into any issues. As you can see, we got the car loaded. Uh, it's ready to go get scaled now. So uh, hopefully we're not too far off. But uh, we want to check and just make sure nothing's changed since the last time we ran it so we're about to hit the road all right guys so as you can see the car is back from being scaled it sits a lot more level now i have to send out another huge thank you to daryl mclaughlin and caleb mclaughlin for helping us get this thing really dialed in this week so i'm really excited about this car um i think it's going to do well friday hopefully um we did take a little bit of weight off of it because i ended up buying was actually a little heavy so um we got some weight off of it got our percentages right on the car so it's definitely uh pretty much as good as it's going to get really um so i'm really really happy about that okay so in one of my previous videos there was a comment wanting a driver's perspective on setup um i actually already attempted to shoot this uh earlier this week but the problem is the video ended up being like 10 minutes long. So I wanted to put it like in the shop vlog because I didn't want it to be too long of a video or just one solely dedicated to setup. Because I realized after watching it, I said the same thing multiple times. Anywho, uh, so basically when it comes down to setting up a race car, whether it's a large track or a small track, it depends on the driver and what the driver wants. Um, so there's not really a golden rule as far as, you know, stuff like brake bias or anything else because everybody's different on what they like to run. Some people like to run a looser car. Some people like to run a tighter car. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just driver preference. Okay, so basically the difference between a large track setup somewhere like maybe Lancaster or Cherokee Speedway versus a small track setup, which is like Sumter. Um, I have run at all of these tracks up here, and this is just kind of my opinion on the setup stuff. And basically, there's two things you have to look at when considering setup for the racetrack. One is going to be 
well, how long is the actual trike? Is it three eighths, half mile, quarter mile, whatever? The other thing you want to look at is banking as well. So if you have a real flat track versus a real high bank track. And for those of you who don't know, yes, banking helps these cars tremendously. So you could drive it harder into the corner if the track was banked enough. So somewhere like Cherokee, we can actually keep the car wide open in three and four. We never have to lift off the throttle because the banking helps us turn. Uh, Lancaster's kind of the same way. It's very high banked and you can carry a lot of speed into that corner and it helps you turn. Somewhere like Sumter, on the other hand, which is very flat, you actually have to lift out of the throttle and there's a couple other things you'll have to do. So those are the two biggest factors when determining what kind of setup you want to run. Now I'm not going to get into like what kind of percentages we run, anything like that, because if that, if that was the case this video would be like 30 minutes long. But basically those are the two big determining factors. It also comes down to what does your driver like? Does he like a looser car? Me personally, I love a looser car. So when we went to Sumter Speedway uh, two years ago, I actually loosened the car up a whole bunch because the track was very flat, um, not a lot of banking, not a lot of room, so I wanted it to be able to really whip around and get in the corner very well and be able to move it around a whole bunch because with that track being so small, you need the mobility. Um, we also went up in the gear, so we went from I think a 583 to a 600 gear to go run down there and that actually worked out very well. We were kind of hitting our peak RPM coming into the corner, so that was fantastic. So that's kind of what we would do for a smaller track. Now versus a larger track, let's say Cherokee, I'll tighten it up a little bit, but we're also going to be running the car a lot harder. So that means we can come down in the gear. Uh, my motor would not handle really anything above a 600 at Cherokee Speedway. It pretty much just 10,000 pieces. Again, uh, but again, I don't want to get into percentages, but that's basically how we make the determination on what we want to run. Now, usually your percentages, like your weight percentages and everything will stay the same. But as far as the rounds in the left rear, those will change. Uh, caster and camber could change, uh, stuff like that. And really, that, that just it, it really comes down to what the driver wants. Um, and I know this is kind of a vague way to explain setups, but really that's what drives the... Uh, decision making really you know get your weight and your heights and everything set where you want like the you know in the right place and then go from there and you know make your adjustments whether you want it looser or tighter or whatnot so uh hopefully that answered that question um I, i'm not the setup guy I'm, I'm really not um but i do know what decisions you know you look at really when you go to run a uh, a racetrack so i hope that answered it a little bit um, if not, I'm really sorry. Uh, if you want to, you can send me a private message and we can go that way and I'll kind of explain stuff to you. Um, I just didn't want to take up the whole video on just setup. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, as you guys saw in the previous section, uh, the car is ready to go for Friday. So hopefully we will see some of you there. If we do, come up, say hi to us. We always enjoy that. So with that being said... Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and as always, we will see you in the next video.